Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Muhammad Asim. I'm working as DevOps engineer. Uh, today is going to be the last uh, part of our uh, series or playlist which we are working on, uh, which is the AWS Code Meet Code the and Code Commit. So uh, there is a public repository which I'm going to. Uh, provide you the link uh, for this repository and in my previous parts if you navigate to the YouTube simply type the AWS links windows and navigate to this channel and you will navigate then to playlist uh, there is a playlist which we are working on which is the AWS CI CD and if you click this uh, I've already covered the five video steps for the AWS code commit code build and code deploy so and we are using uh, automated deployment uh, via ECS. Uh, we are going to set up the AWS uh, custom VPC through Terraform and we are going to set up a load balancer automatically from there and we are going to set up the ACM as well. So uh, in this video, uh, I will try to cover uh, almost every five uh, parts in this video. To, to just make sure uh, if you haven't paused those parts or if you wanna just, you know, looking for the concept. So um, simply navigate to my repository link I will provide in my video description. Navigate to AWS code commit. This is the public repository I uh, already make available for you guys. And the slides are also available in this. So what I'm going to do is to simply uh, clone this. Um, this uh, video, if you watch this and uh, watch this video till end, your concept with uh, regard to the um, AWS code commit code pipeline will be absolutely uh, perfect and you will be surely able to understand how this uh, compute process works. So what I'm doing right now that I'm uh, actually uh, download, downloading this uh, repository uh, via the zip file so what i'm going to do uh, is to first of all navigate to the first step of uh, our um, deployment although these steps are uh, i've already covered in my previous five videos but as i told you i'm going to start from the scratch and i'm going to navigate to the section uh, iem and then also i'm going to open another tab just make sure that everything uh, works quickly and smoothly so okay there is some connectivity issue Will me fix this okay guys so in this video we are going to cover all the steps which are required uh, for our you know AWS uh, code commit code build and code pipeline series so um, I've already covered all the steps uh, in my previous videos but definitely as I told you I'm going to cover all the uh, steps uh, in this video from scratch so I'm going to do quickly and if you want to have a thorough look please uh, navigate to the uh, YouTube uh, section and navigate to the playlist where I have showed you where to watch all those videos so uh, I'm not going to uh, you know waste too much time in you know setting all the previous stuff so I'm going to use uh, uh, I'm going to the IM section user section and I'm going to click uh, cloud user what I'm going to do just to Tell you that I'm going to set up the SSH uh, public key and I'm going to upload that and for that I'm going to uh, use a git bash uh, as I'm using the windows for the links you have to simply provide you know the public key exactly I'm doing the same stuff here but definitely in the operating system is windows so I'm going to press cd and if I do ls siphon a I have a folder called dot ssh and in this folder let me do ls and i'm going to copy the public key okay so this is the public key which i'm going to use and it's 
simply copy this public key and put it here let's control v and save it so uh, with this public key what i'm going to do also uh, open one more uh, tab uh, in the in the browser and i'm going to show you the okay i'm going to show you the repository which we are going to create So, uh, with regard to the repository, simply I'm going to press, uh, I'm going to type the pipeline. Sorry, I'm going to type the, type the pipeline and pipeline and pipeline is going to be the code pipeline. And in this section, I'm going to create one repository, uh, which I'm going to pull. So, uh, as I told you that, uh, I'm going to download these uh, download this repository all the code with regard to the terraform and uh, all the notes slides are available so what I'm going to do simply clone it and download the zip from here so it is downloading now so it is not a uh, heavy I mean uh, file it is going to be about 2-3 MB uh, file so you have to simply download this and everything you have to uh, follow exactly the same uh, what I'm doing right now so simply uh, what I'm going to do uh, is to update the config file uh, config file is the one which is uh, where I put the SSH uh, key ID and let me update this one so and the remaining settings uh, with regard to the identity file is uh, the same uh, this is the private uh, key which I'm going to use to uh, Git pull the repository and let me just refresh it. Okay, if I go to the IM section, uh, this is the SSH key ID which I I should uh, put it here and I'm going to simply press uh, paste here and make sure that there there should be no spaces and I just want to make sure that okay start with A P K A and end with KKWF here that's fine so I'm going to save it and then I'm going to navigate to the Dex okay I'm going to navigate to desktop there you go I'm going to uh, do ls here I'm now on my desktop I'm going to do git clone and ssh uh, to the repository which is I'm going to create and I'm going to uh, I'm going to create first of all this uh, let me tell you uh, about this section we have our code uh, commit which is the repository where you can manage the kit okay and the artifact the builds the deploy the code pipeline so uh, what I'm going to do uh, I'm currently on the first step so what I'm going to do uh, click on the get started and I'm going to create one repository and the repository name is going to be cloud geeks dot c so this is the repository which i'm going to create and i'm going to simply uh clone this repository so all the setting which i showed you uh, you have to create a config file which i've already done in my dot ssh folder i've done these settings so um, simply i do git clone and paste it here so if everything works fine, uh, it is going to pull an empty repository for me and uh, which I'm going to fill with my code. So uh, you see it is said that you are going to clone the empty repository. If, if I navigate to uh, cloud CA dualS, it is empty. It is, uh, there is nothing in it except the not git folder, which is the hidden one. So what I'm going to do, uh, as I told you that uh, I've already downloaded the repository if I navigate to the download section uh, close it and I'm going to simply cut and paste this uh, file here and which is the zip file I'm going to paste it here so all the code and the repository and everything is available the telephone code is uh, also available in this repository I'm going to extract it and this is the one I'm talking about and what I'm going to do is to just uh, clear everything okay 
so uh, let me show you uh, what i'm talking about that you don't have to actually uh, do much uh, as far as the you know deployment is concerned you should have a aws account and the right privileges what i'm going to do uh, is to simply copy this uh, app which we are going to put in our cloud geeks uh, ca repository let me put it here and i'm going to extract this one as well extract here okay so in this repository i have a code uh, which is uh, relevant to our uh, you know uh, code commit section all these part as i told you have covered but the working uh, of these parts uh, i'm showing you guys okay if i do get status you see uh, uh, these are not added what i'm going to do is to simply edit this build spec yaml file which is the default for the uh, code commit so uh, what i'm going to do is to simply update this uh, uri uh, repository uri and this repository uri is uh, relevant to the ecr elastic container service so i'm going to simply update this one what i'm going to do um, okay uh, let me open the steps here steps are open here now i'm going to just put this guy aside okay this part is done i'm in the i'm role so what i'm going to do is to simply uh, navigate to my ecr section where i'm going to create the elastic container registry uh, which we are going to uh, push our images and pull our images from that so um, if i type ecr so this is the elastic container service ecs okay uh, you can select the ecr direct as well but um, i have selected this one by mistake you let it open and it doesn't really mean you can uh, navigate uh, to the ecr from here as well so uh, this is the ecs section but we are looking for the ecr amazon ecr click repositories and we are going to create one repository here and you can go directly uh, directly from the console to the ecr as well so uh, let it open i'm going to create one repository and i'm going to call this cloud geeks uh, ca dash ecr elastic container registry okay so i'm giving the same name so uh, you guys uh, should be able to easily understand what uh, what i mean so i'm going to simply copy this and i'm going to paste uh, this here and our ecr is updated so i'm going to save this and i'm going to add everything to this uh, repository and i'm going to push this one so if i check the status uh, which is a good status and i'm going to get a commit up and am okay um, commit for the um, okay cloud geeks code let's say aws code commit so it is the git control version i mean just like a, in your mind you just assume that just like github you're pushing and pulling the code so for your understanding i'm giving you this hint so uh, i'm going to say git push uh, origin i'm going to use the master branch for this uh, demo so uh, as you know in production you have several branches uh, dev or you know test or development branch but for this demo we are going to push our code to the master branch and if i refresh it uh, if i navigate to the code commit section and if i click the code cloud geeks here you will see four file will be updated here along with the update we done in the uh, uri so okay this part is done what i'm going to do is to now uh, code commit is done now i'm going to navigate to the code build section code build just keep in mind just like you can say if you have an idea about docker we are going to build something and we are going to build let's say uh, just assume that with the docker build command we are going to build a uh, docker image so uh, I'm going to click uh, click this uh, code build section. Uh, get started with the code build, and let 
it called cloud geeks ca dash code build just assume that we are building something and uh, that's all so for uh, just like you know uh, let's assume that you're building a docker image and for that uh, docker image to build what you need what you need is actually uh, uh, let's say a repository let's say i have a code commit where my code docker file is there you see let me show you that as well uh, okay in fact uh, let me open that in that particular uh, code commit repository i've just pushed the code uh, which includes the uh, docker file as well so i'm going to navigate to the uh, pipeline and show you guys uh, code commit code and uh, go to navigate to the repository click on the repository which we have just created and push the code and in this code we have a docker file so just assume that you are building a um, docker image in fact we are actually just not assuming building a docker image for that you need a docker file so i'm going to click this repository in this repository we have docker file and branch is going to be the master so uh, and then um, you can see the additional configuration which we don't need for this demo operating system and now i need operating system why is that uh, let's say i'm going to image build image on some uh, on a, some machine which we have docker installed so i can and docker commands are also there and privileges should be there so i'm going to use amazon linux and for the runtime standard image i'm going to select uh, the 3.0 which is the latest and uh, environment is going to be linux linux so so um, in privileges section i'm going to select enable this flag and uh, what i'm going to do so what i'm going to do is to make sure that this check is uh, enabled and i'm going to create a docker um, uh, docker image from this so the name of that uh, is going to be with the code built and uh, i'm going to use the definitely build, uh, build spec yaml file which i've already shown you this is the one by default you can change or uh, you can use the custom one sorry uh, you can use the custom one as well so so uh, uh, no need to uh, select anything simply create a build project so this part uh, with regard to the building of your uh, setting up the environment for building a docker image is uh, ready uh, we have not actually built the image. Uh, one thing I need to tell you for that, simply uh, navigate to the I enroll section and what you have to do is to provide the privileges to uh, the ECR. Court may need uh, privileges to uh, contact ECR. So if I type uh, code build, sorry, uh, Code build, uh, code build needs to contact the ECR. So in code build section, what I'm going to do is to, uh, although I've uh, created this role, default role, but I need to um, attach one policy. And if I type registry, if I type, uh, type registry, I'm going to give this uh, policy to the code build. So uh, code build uh, is going to be set up uh, automatically for us so this part is uh, done now what I'm going to do uh, is to navigate to the okay is to navigate to the VPC section okay VPC I'm going to provide uh, you code uh, which is the which is the terraform code uh, for the automated build and Simply navigate to this directory and copy this VPC application load balancer. So uh, what we are going to do is to simply, you know, create the application load balancer. Let me open console again and simply I'm going to navigate to this uh, section and I'm going to 
navigate to the desktop okay and navigate to vpc environment dev and do ls so uh, uh, currently i have set up the aws configure uh, set up my secret access key uh, access key and secret access key uh, with the privileges so what i'm going to do is to use this command terraform init and terraform apply dash dash auto dash approve so uh, what i'm going to do is to uh, make sure apply this command but before applying this command i have to uh, set up acm which is the requirement uh, for this uh, although uh, https is not required but uh, i've set up the code in a way that let me show you the code as well uh, let me copy this command so i don't have to type it again so if i uh, if i show you the code i have to update this main tf in which uh, in this main tf i have to update the certificate uh, arn which is for the https so uh, by uh, i i have to i am going to show you that as well so if i navigate to the acm section uh, okay and type simply the acm i'm going to open this in a new browser and i'm going to simply type acm here so which is going to be the open which is going to open the certificate manager for us and i'm going to uh, apply for the you know set free certificate and it is the domain is going to be star.sakleanmushtaq.com so uh, let me show you that part as well sakleanmushtaq.com and what i'm going to do is to simply uh, go for the dns validation review confirm and request and it will provide me the cname which i'm going to put in my dns and after a few minutes uh, it is going to validate so uh, i'm going to log in into my uh, dns section and i'm going to put these two entries which is of cnm the power so guys i have uh, successfully connected with my um, dns uh, uh, record uh, which is uh, hold by the cloud pair so what i'm going to do is to simply uh, copy these uh, cnm record here i'm going to put uh, these cnm entries here so simply provide this information to the cnm and i'm going to update this one and i'm going to save it so uh, if everything goes well uh, it is going to simply you know uh, valid uh, confirm the pending validation but i'm going to continue and i'm i have to provide the arn to this uh, code uh, okay so let me paste it here okay make sure there is sh there should be no spaces in this particular code so i'm going to remove the extra spaces so this is the arn amazon resource name um, i have provided so i'm going to apply the same command terraform in it and terraform apply dash dash auto dash approve okay so what it does it is going to initialize and download the relevant modules inside your directory which is the hidden dot terraform directory and then it is going to uh, create one custom vpc along with that custom vpc uh, it will launch uh, application load balancer along with that um, three ports uh, are going to be attached with the application load balancer security group port 80 port 880 and 443 with 443 we have uh, applied for the uh, certs i've shown you that entry as well let me just uh, get rid of this and i'm going to simply uh, refresh and to just uh, make sure that the this pending will validation um, should be turned into green with issued uh, 
in front of our screen. So, okay, this part is uh, now in place. So what I'm going to do instead of you know waiting for this, uh, I'm going to uh, navigate to my uh, code pipeline section and navigate to get started. And we are going to skip this deploy uh, part. And let me tell you that uh, why is that uh, I'm going to create a cloud geeks pipeline. Okay, so uh, okay with advanced everything is, and this is the role M. Okay, and I'm going to from a source stage. I'm going to select code commit. Okay, repository name is Cloud CA branch is going to be the master, and we are going to navigate to our. Uh, build stage as you know build stage we have already set up we have set up the code build okay uh, we have already set up uh, the cloud geek c code build so no need for creating a project so uh, okay i'm going to click next don't skip this click next now for the code uh, at deploy stage i'm going to uh, skip this section here and i'm going to create a pipeline okay so this part is done what i'm going to do uh, is to navigate to my ecs uh, section where i'm uh, where i'm going to create a one cluster but before cre creating the cluster let me show you that we are on the part number uh, we are on the step number um, here so we are on the seventh step and uh, so what we are going to do uh, is to create a one role uh, for the, our code deploy section so uh, from the i role section navigate to the roles and create one role and service i'm going to select is the code deploy uh, code deploy and code deploy for the ecs which is the elastic container service Next, I'm going to choose uh, this default, you know, permission next review. Call this uh, Cloud Geeks code deploy. Okay, but what I have to do is to make sure that uh, I have to attach three, uh, two more policies with the with this one. So if I type code and uh, code 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 here so this is the one which we have created the role but only one default policy is attached to it uh, what i'm going to do is to attach two more policies why is that because uh, our um, application load balancer and ecs uh, required and privileges so i'm going to simply copy this uh, permission uh, copy this uh, default uh, policy name and I'm going to paste it here to make sure that our uh, load balancer should be able to talk to this uh, code deploy. And also, I'm going to simply copy the Amazon ECS full uh, access. And uh, okay, so I'm going to attach one more policy here. Simply paste it here, and I'm going to attach this one to this role as well. So uh, you see with uh, code deploy uh, role, we have attached uh, three policies. And now I'm going to uh, navigate to the section uh, ECS, okay. ECS is the elastic uh, container service. Now I'm going to create one role so till then i have to uh, look for the look for the initialization of my Terraform it 
it is now initializing uh, we have to wait for a while but till then what i'm going to do is to uh, just you know simply create a cluster uh, create cluster and definitely it's going to be the uh, aws uh, target and i'm going to select the cluster name and uh, cloud geeks call this ecs elastic container service simply create this cluster so this cluster uh, is going to spin up quickly for you guys and you can view this cluster and you see it is active now uh, what i'm going to do is to create uh, one task definition but for that particular task definition uh, let me create the task definition and i'm going to create uh, on the aws target okay so i'm going to give this name a uh, node app okay so no need to assign any role uh, if you want to be very specific with to that particular container uh, you can choose that but for this demo i'm not going to assign any role node app is going to be the task definition let's say i'm going to select one gb and two vcpus okay if uh, this turn red you can easily uh, see from the detail that valid memory for two vcpu is 4 gb so what i'm going to do is to select one cpu and one gb uh, and uh, one cpu and two gb ram okay so two gb that would be fine so you see this error is gone now what i'm going to do is to add a container here and the container name is going to be the application name which we are going to use which is the node app simple application the image is going to be from the ECS uh, from the ECR sorry uh, navigate to the simply tab okay let's see it is issued now and this part is now okay I'm going to close it now simply navigate to the uh, ECR I'm going to type ECR here and you see this is the elastic container registry here I'm going to click uh, on this uh, so I'm going to uh, copy this uh, image URI and okay okay so I'm going to put it here in the um, image section but make sure that put colon in front of it and put it latest so uh, by default okay you can set up this soft limit to this and this is the port which i have exposed inside my uh, docker file which is of port 880 and um, let everything just remain default and just simply create add so our uh, image is added and we are going to simply create this uh, task definition so uh, you see three steps are completed and our task definition is ready now what i'm going to do is to navigate to the cluster section click on the uh, ecs i'm going to create one service here and as far as the alb is uh, concerned and our custom apc it is still deploying let me show you that uh, we are uh, using the automated way for this uh, deployment if I navigate to the EC2 section I have to show you this uh, okay so what I'm going to do is to simply navigate to this uh, section and uh, click on the load balancer and uh, 
let it open okay we will see uh, one load balancer is provisioning at the moment in fact it is active so our uh, resources are deployed through the terraform which is the custom vpc and 443 which is https so what i'm going to do is to simply navigate to ecs i'm going to create one service and service is going to be uh, in the aws fargate which is the managed uh, managed a ecs uh, AWS service so the service name is going to be cloud uh, geeks uh, ca uh, service we are going to provide to our client is of node app and let's say call we need two uh, replicas and um, we are going to use the uh, blue green deployment one thing i need to tell you that uh, AWS recently uh, launched uh, Canary deployments for the code uh, deploy, but we are going to use the code uh, uh, deploy service, which is of uh, blue green deployments. And uh, with regard to the Canary deployments, I'm going to give you the concept uh, in my later videos or in, in next videos. What uh, what is the difference between um, blue green deployment and canary deployment is that in blue green deployment you are going to switch your traffic 100% to the green uh, deployment. Uh, currently, your uh, existing infrastructure is going to be on the blue, and when you just uh, navigate to uh, your green version, so uh, you just simply shifted or directed your all traffic to the green um, uh, environment. In case of any issue, you can just simply uh, navigate to the blue uh, environment, which is uh, your existing environment. As far as the canary deployment are concerned, you see, uh, you see um, um, what it does that uh, some portion of your traffic is going to be diverted to the new uh, deployment let's say uh, you can select the 10 percent of traffic is going to be diverted to the uh, new uh, environment and 90 percent is going to be remain stick to the old uh, environment so this is the theory part but uh, we are going to cover the blue uh, green deployment in this which is the default so uh, next video i'll give you the concept of the canary deployment um, hands on although the concept with regard to the theory I've, I've given is pretty simple so um, uh, I'm going to uh, click uh, next and next I'm going to select uh, the custom VPC this is the one with side arrange 10.11 I have created so I'm going to uh, select my public subnet from here public subnet 2 okay sub public subnet 1 sequence that doesn't really matter but as long as the public subnet 1 and 2 are there that <clears throat> would be fine so i'm going to edit this and i've already created uh, a custom security group i'm going to select that and i told you that in that particular uh, security group uh, port 8880 and 423 are exposed to the world and what i'm going to do is to select the application load balancer and i'm going to okay click this one Okay, so I'm going to select the application load balancer from here. Okay, in application load balancer, uh, I'm going to select uh, the one which I've already created. So I'm going to add this to the load balancer and, and I'm going to create new target group. So by default, application need uh, application load balancer need target group. So default is already set. So uh, what I'm going to select uh, is um, the protocol HTTP okay that's fine so uh, listener port is going to be uh, HTTP uh, for production and I'm going to select the test uh, IP as well and the evaluation order of this is going to be the one so and the health check path is going to be slash okay health check and 
the path pattern is going to be the slash so this is done okay so um, this is the production and for the target type that is fine uh, I'm looking for the test listeners uh, listener as well so if I do test type test unable to find the test here so uh, in past we have actually uh, this uh, application load balance and network load balance now we have this seen and the classical load balance is also there so uh, currently I'm not showing any test uh, listener here okay so okay if I click next so these are the subnets and application load balancer we are going to use node app and okay uh, target service discovery we are not going to check here and For production, that's fine. Uh, I'm unable to see any test. Uh, listener here, let's say remove it. Okay, and add load balancer again. So, some of the few changes I've seen uh, in this section. Let me just refresh it and just check it again. So I just refresh the page. I'm unable to see any classic load balancer anymore. So anyway, uh, I'm going to add this to load balancer. And for production, I'm going to uh, use the port 80. And definitely the test listeners uh, are going to be on port std uh, 880. And uh, definitely, I'm going to create. Uh, new target group and the target group is going to be this one so i just i'm going to give this name and the evaluation is going to be one and the path pattern is going to be this one and health check is going to be slash okay so for uh, similarly for the target second target group i'm going to select the second and target group for port 880 and and the evaluation order is going to be two and the path pattern is going to be slash and target type is definitely ip and the health check pattern is going to be uh, this one so everything seems to be fine and i'm going to click next and click next let's review and create a service so uh, I'm going to view the service okay so in this service uh, we will see that um, if I do navigate to the cluster section click the cluster in this service uh, there are two desired and currently uh, no one is running so I'm going to the EC2 section and open the target group uh, in the new uh, tab. Okay. And let me show you that uh, the containers uh, should be running uh, inside the uh, inside one of the target group. Currently no uh, target group, uh, no containers are running. So 
okay and um, if I navigate to this uh, section I'm going to edit uh, the rules why I'm going to edit this uh, I will explain you so uh, by default as I told you that target uh, group is sending traffic to this um, one and I'm going to edit this one to make sure the traffic should not be this is the uh, default one which I've created with the application load balancer and I'm going to edit this select the uh, target group node f1 update it and similarly and uh, I'm going to uh, port 880 view edit rules and click the edit rule uh, click edit here okay and uh, I'm going to select this one target node f1 okay update and I did this one select target group node f2 so this setting uh, is really important if I refresh the target so uh, no targets are registered uh, yet okay so if I navigate to the target group uh, 2 so see targets so no targets are registered here as well so uh, okay if I uh, navigate to the application load balancer okay and currently if I copy the DNS name you will see nothing there because the no targets are currently registered so if I go to, if I navigate to my uh, code uh, pipeline section and see the pipeline so this pipeline is definitely succeeded by default image is there so uh, currently if I navigate to and uh, the service section of uh, my LB why we and see any uh, um, targets registered because uh, our desired uh, state is 2 and the currently running uh, task are 0 so if I navigate to the task se section you see uh, the pending state um, we have to wait for a while so uh, if this state uh, changes from pending to running then we will be able to see the targets uh, container uh, with the private IP is going to be registered in our target groups so I have to wait for a while as this uh, we have spin up the service uh, now status is changed from provisioning pending to provisioning and again if I refresh it it is now st uh, uh, pending and we have to wait for a while to make sure that this status uh, should be in the running state <laughs> so uh, seems that one of the container is up and uh, running and uh, no state is still uh, in the pending state uh, I'm going to pause the video and I will be back with you guys in a moment so guys uh, our services uh, let me show you the service uh, ECS service okay just a minute please so okay so if I navigate to the cluster section and if I navigate to the service section and no task is running why is that uh, I saw the mistake I have done here if I navigate to the task definition if I go to the node app 
and uh, if I click node app uh, the image a uh, URL is uh, incorrect and I'm uh, I've seen that so what I'm going to do is to simply uh, create a new uh, revision and okay so uh, I'm going to update this uh, tag to this latest okay so this is the mistake I've done so I'm going to create one and uh, this is the node app 2 and if I uh, navigate to the cluster section and if I go to my services section and I'm going to update the services and the revision is uh, this time is going to be second one which is the latest and I'm going to simply update and this is the one I'm looking to see uh, if everything uh, goes well our uh, um, tasks uh, are going to be up and running so let's see uh, till then I'm going to pause the video again and see uh, the issue is resolved or not so it is uh, in the pending state So guys, uh, as you see, uh, one of the tasks is running. If I navigate to the services section, uh, you see uh, both of the tasks are running. So the issue is resolved. If I navigate to the target uh, section and if I uh, select the target group, navigate to the target group uh, section and if I see target, so uh, Currently there are no targets available and shortly we will see some of the targets are going to be registered uh, in our target groups. So uh, then we will be able to see, uh, you see, okay, uh, uh, targets are now registered In if I navigate to this uh, URL of the DNS. Um, so, okay, and if I put 5080 here okay so currently the targets are healthy okay I should put the uh, also check the DNS name is it valid or not so let me copy it again and see whether we should be able to see our uh, services okay and I have to check this issue again and I will be back again. Okay guys, uh, there is no issue in that. Uh, as uh, you see, the our service is uh, up, and running, uh, up and running on this uh, load ba balancer URL. So what I'm going to do also check uh, on the port 8080 as well. Okay. So it is now resolving uh, on this port as well. So the issue is resolved with regard to the tag as well. So first time uh, we are not going to definitely look for the, you know, blue green deployment. Our current status is the blue, which is the existing one. So what I'm going to do is to uh, make one commit and the commit is uh, with regard to the change in application and automated deployment is going to be uh, uh, done so what I'm going to do is navigate is to navigate to the uh, is to navigate to the cloud geeks uh, repository and if I do ls here and I'm going to do uh, them on server dot uh, js file and I'm going to call this uh, green okay and save it 
so I'm going to uh, see first of all the status I'm going to do git add server uh, dot js and see the status okay and I'm going to commit and have an app uh, okay have an m and call this cloud geeks uh, green deployment okay so good push region is going to be the master so uh, if I push and changes uh, is going to be done and um, the uh, automated deployment uh, through code uh, Python is going to be started let me show you that part as well so if I navigate to the code pipeline and if I click the pipeline you will see uh, um, just now in progress one of the uh, deployment started so uh, let it uh, build and what it does it is going to uh, it is succeeded it is going to it is uh, build is in progress and what we uh, let the build done and then what we are going to do is to deploy the uh, blue green stuff so currently our application is running on the blue environment which is the existing environment and it is now in uh, pending state so Uh, okay, uh, let let me show you the build part as well. So once build uh, is completed, currently it is in the uh, in progress state. Once build is done, um, what is that? Uh, what is done that our um, uh, new image is going to be built and uh, will be available for the uh, ECS uh, Elastic Container Service. So we then look for the blue green deployment. And I will show you that I'm going to update that uh, particular services uh, service which you have created. So this is in the building, uh, still in the progress. And if I click the details, uh, I will see the logs as well. and uh the message is succeeded so uh, this part is uh, done if i uh, click the code pipeline here sorry uh, code pipeline and pipelines yeah you would see uh, uh, everything is now uh, finished and succeeded so you see these two parts are now okay and uh, succeeded now what I'm going to do is to navigate to my uh, ECS uh, section okay and from the clusters okay let me um, this one is open and I'm going to simply uh, from here I'm going to go navigate to the clusters and I'm going to select the service cloud geeks and I'm going to select the service I'm going to update and simply uh, I'm going to um, force a new deployment as it is already selected uh, to the latest version so i'm going to click next next and uh, click uh, next and once it is uh, updated you will see okay the code deployment is not successful uh, uh, is already deploying uh, exceeded uh, deployment execution okay so um, I have to check this part as well 
so if i navigate to the code uh, deploy uh, section okay uh, code deploy section navigate to the deployments and uh, you see sorry it is in the progress state so i have to wait for it so if i click on it and uh, i will see the four bars here so uh, a replacement is done uh, from uh, 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 original to the replacement if i click the next uh, step uh, I will uh, shortly see the different version of my uh, deployment. So uh, on port 880, I have the uh, old version. And if I click on the uh, navigate to my port, 8, uh, port 80, I should be able to see the latest version. So let's see. I have to wait for a while, about I guess a uh, few minutes. Till then, I'm going to pause the video. So, guys, uh, as you see, that we have our uh, uh, new image is now up and running on our load balancer, and uh, the reason for that we uh, I'm I'm able to watch. Um, uh, both uh, these four port 80 and 880 green image that uh, the mistake i've done that on the image uh, url which i've updated in front of you guys but what i'm going to do uh, so just assume that we have our current uh, status is um, uh, of uh, existing one is of green so um, as i told you that there uh, was a mistake from my side that that um, you see 100 percent replacement is on the uh, is done but the I, green image is been pushed so what i'm going to do is to uh, this uh, instead of wait for an hour uh, by default uh, wait is one hour so i'm going to say terminate the old task um, or stop and roll back to the old deployment uh, but there is no old deployment actually um, as the green one and uh, green one is pushed so um, terminate this original task and this one is uh, now the confirmation that uh, we are going to switch 100 percent on this one so what i'm going to do now again push i'm going to uh, do one more commit here so uh, i'm going to go for the let's say uh, blue one i'm going to uh, see git status i'm going to get uh, add server js and i'm going to do a commit for the blue uh, blue deployment okay and i'm going to push uh, this to the origin master so what it does actually it is uh, going to uh, simply uh, create new uh, update to the pipeline and a new pipeline is going to be just in the progress state and all the steps are going to be uh, done so if i uh, navigate to the uh, build uh, project section so click on the build projects so uh, you see this build in is in progress and if i click this you will see and uh, uh, relevant log and I have to you um, you have to make sure you just keep touch it and you will be able to see the logs you see now I'm able to see the logs so download is complete uh, everything is as this is the minor change so definitely every uh, thing is cached in the uh, image repository 
definitely all the uh, process is going to be that it is going to build an edge it is going to push to the ecr repository and this is our building image this is our working directory it is building image uh, from the docker file and it is then um, going to push uh, to the repository and we have now our latest image it is now succeeded so what i'm going to do is to simply um, um, navigate to my ECS uh, section and uh, okay so if I navigate to the elastic container service from here I'm going to select my cluster this is my cluster cloud geek CA I'm going to update this application and uh, the region definitely is going to be this one now i'm going to select the force new deployment and the latest image is definitely the one which we have uh, pushed and let's see and also i'm going to show you the target groups as well so if i click this uh, section here which is the code deployment was created successfully so it is uh, Currently, the current status uh, is 100% on green, and once uh, it's done, you will see the shifting between uh, green and blue. So it is in uh, progress state, and if I navigate to the view service, click uh, cluster. Okay, so uh, if I refresh it. It is in uh, uh, running two and two, and if I do uh, navigate to this section, so we have to wait for a while. Uh, it is in the progress. Uh, I'm going to pause the video again to show you the difference. So you have to wait for a while. Okay, guys. So um, you see that uh, original uh, shifted to the replacement, and if you see the uh, task set activity and all the deployment lifecycle events you see succeeded so if I click the refresh button you see it is now shifting to the original one is shifting to uh, um, from green to blue and if I click on this uh, it is now also shifted to uh, green as well uh, sorry blue as well so um, everything is uh, shifted but if we want to roll back uh, uh, let's say if let's say if i say um, i'm not comfortable with this uh, application so traffic is 100 uh, percent shifted to as i told you this is the color got wrong because of the mistake i've done in the image url but the concept um, i want to show you that let's say i i i i don't feel that this application is uh, going to work for me or I don't uh, have a good reviews from the customer and uh, I wanna if I wanna stay uh, stick to this that and terminate original target this win, this one is gone and I will be on the blue one let's say stop and roll back deployment so uh, what it does that it is going to switch back to the old version and uh, definitely uh, um, we are going to see the green version uh, um, of the of our application so uh, step four we have to wait and if i refresh you see uh, this is the green uh, green version and if I if I see if I again do refresh, you see I am shifted back to my old uh, version. So uh, I have to show you these steps as well. So uh, make sure that you uh, you see um, you should see what what is going on behind. So uh, this is the concept with regard to the. Uh, blue green deployment i have to show you that what is the concept behind it 
uh, you sh you guys are able to understand it in that uh, uh, how it is done and what what should be the part so you see um, uh, currently the 100 percent traffic is uh, primary to the replacement one but uh, i have to just make sure that everything should be uh, you know uh, roll back now okay uh, wait for a step although we have seen this uh, this is our original now traffic is actually is shifted to the uh, original one so just refresh it and this process is a bit time consuming you have to wait for a while but if you play with this uh, you will be able to understand that how this blue grid deployment work although i have uh, i guess uh, make an effort to you know give you the concept with regard to the blue green deployment uh, and it is pretty much clear to us that how this process works if you have still any question and if you have still any issues uh, please do comment and if you like the video please share and subscribe my channel and uh, as I told you even the mistakes uh, in my videos I'm not going to you know definitely uh, edit and see the stuff so uh, with the mistakes you should be able to understand that what should be uh, done and uh, at the back end I have to show you if I show you the target group uh, registered to the target group uh, node app 2 so if i just refresh it and you will be uh, able to see that what is uh, going on on the uh, 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 node uh, group 2 and if i navigate to the section to the node group uh, node app uh, 1 so see the targets uh, currently uh, no targets are there uh, but if I, um, uh, I in the last I would like to show you one more thing that uh, if you navigate to the uh, load balancer richness and when you do uh, switching between the blue green deployment uh, what it does that you see uh, our HTTP uh, node is shifted automatically automatically you see to uh, cloud C node app 2 and this is also shifted and changed so that is it guys uh, and if you see the port 880 uh, view edit rules and this part is also changed you see automatically so please like uh, and share and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day